Hey guys, it's Sean Lego Moore here with a review of the Lego Ninjago Movie Collectible Minifigure Series. Set number is 71019, and it has 20 minifigures included in the series, and it retails for 4 bucks a pop for each packet. There are 20 minifigures just like the Lego Batman Movie Series, so here is the packaging of them, which looks really cool, I like the design of it. And you also do get one pamphlet showing how to build everything. And there's the minifigures. Again, it doesn't have any like hints or promotions for upcoming uh, minifigure series like the Batman movie did. And it showcased the Highwayman for series 17. So we'll start off with the first figure, and that is Kendo Kai. And you can see he looks really good in that design with his hairpiece. And he has no alternate face, so you can see the armor print on him as well. This better look as torso and leg print as you can see back print on his torso it's pretty much the same uh, design for Kai in the sets except without the kendo armor and he has the two kendo sticks in his hand as well and you can also use that helmet that he also comes with which looks really cool with that nice gold and red color with it so it's a pretty cool figure in general uh, but not one of my favorites I think it's still a great figure regardless though so there's Kendo Kai. Next up we have Spinjitsu Training Nia. And uh, this figure is pretty much the same outfit of Spinjitsu Training. Um, she does have that nice hair piece though, of course. Only one face. She does have the dark brown or brownish katanas for the first time, which look really cool too. Pretty good figure too. Um, not one of my favorites, but um, it's nice to get a cheap way for that training outfit which is good and next up we have Lloyd or the Green Ninja and this figure is pretty much the same Lloyd that we get in the sets you can see he does have some great printing on the legs as you can see he also has some arm print as well as you can see like from an angle right there you can see some arm print he also has a 2 by 3 printed tile for the um Green Ninja Mac Dragon, which is, a, which is a set I do own, and I will review that very soon. He has his nice new Katana Boy, which looks really cool as well. And he does have the two-sided torso print on the back, and there's the face underneath. He only has one face underneath, but you can also replace um, the head or the mask with his hairpiece that's also included which I think is a pretty neat touch as well so there is Lloyd or as Garmadon calls him L Lloyd so put the mask back on and there is Lloyd as the green ninja it's a pretty cool figure And moving on, we have Sensei Wu, or Master Wu, and he comes with this uh, box of cornflakes, which is a really cool print, and has the chicken, which is supposed to be a reference, I think, to the Master, which was a little short film to promote the Ninjago movie. He has some arm print on his um, arms, which is not present in the normal version. He also has some back printing, which the back printing is not as detailed as the normal sets. You can see he has that cloth cape, and then he has the uh, straw hat as well, which is the older style one. And you can also see the face underneath Wu. So, pretty much looks the same as he does in the show, but still great minifigure, I think. Even though he does come in a lot of the sets. Next up, we have Garmadon. This is the normal variant. And he does come with that nice black hat which is exclusive and it's a brand new mold with that oops with that design you can see the face underneath and that nice staff and you can see the back on Garmadon as well <clears throat> and again the print on the legs as well so there's <clears throat> there's Garmadon not one of my favorites but still a cool figure and great way to get this version next up we have Jay Walker, 
and this figure is the cheapest way to get his hair piece as well as that scarf piece which also appears in the Ninjago City set. He has a st selfie stick with a print of his phone on there and he has no printing on the back of his torso but he does have some nice leg print and you can even see the hair piece looks really cool. I like that very messy design and if you remove the printing, you can see the printing on there. It has a little bit of a lightning bolt printing, which looks really cool. So it kind of looks like a school uniform, which I think looks really cool. And I like that little worried look on Jay, because that really feels like he appears in the TV series, but also in the, uh, what was it, the movie as well. Next up we have Lloyd again, but this time he's in his normal casual outfit. He's got some printing on his torso and legs, you can see. No back print on his torso, but he does have the hood piece, as you can see. He only has one face, by the way. Uh, but the hood piece looks really cool, which has some double molding in there, I believe. He also has a nice bowl piece and a new spoon piece as well. And I like the bowl piece design. kind of looks like a bit of a dragon design. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. and It looks so cool. I'm trying to get the contrast on there. There we go. Really looks good. I think that looks awesome. Not one of my favorites, but still a great... Um, figure in general. Next up we have uh, Cole and this version is his casual outfit as well. He's got some printing for the pockets on the torso and legs. He also has his boombox which has an mp3 player printed on it. He has a really awesome hair piece which is exclusive just to this figure and on the back of the print you can see it says World Tour sold out throughout. Also another thing to note is that the torso says in Ninjago language ACDC, and I think that's so clever. That's so awesome. I really like that uh, design. Oops. So I think there's Cole. Next up, we have Lloyd's mom, Miss Sako. And as you guys know, she is much younger in this movie than she appears in the TV series. She has a red purse, some great sand green printing on her torso, and also some great brown on the legs. And that really cool hair piece. Nothing on the back print, which is unfortunate, but still a very good minifigure. One of my favorites, too, because it's the cheapest way to get her, because otherwise you have to pay $300 for Ninjago City. And this is the one that we normally get in the movie, so really love that design of the minifigure with the hair piece. Just such a great hair piece. Then we have Zane here, and you can see Zane has that ridiculously hilarious smile on his face, as usual. And he does have his Nindroid appearance. You can also see the hair piece, cheap way to get his hair. And also some printing for his shaved head. He has a, uh, a backpack, which is the same mold for the hiker used in Series 16 um, in a different color. He's got some nice sweater print on him, which that's supposed to be a reference to uh, the Alien Conquest theme. And I love the, the feet printing on him as well. Really looks like a great minifigure. So there is Zane. And then next up we have our Shark Army General Number 1. She's a really cool figure. Um, I like that hair piece. I believe it's a new piece. I'm not sure, guys. Let me know in the comments. You can see the nice uh, torso and leg print. The torso just shows the uh, feminine design for an Army General. And she has like mermaid-like scales for her leg print, which looks really, really cool. And she does have the nice uh, neck and uh, two separate pieces. For the cape, no printing on the back, that's okay because you do have this cape. And then she also comes with a pink slushy cup, which only appeared in the Simpsons line. So it's nice to see it make another appearance. So there's Shark Army General number one, one of my favorites as well. And then we have our next figure, the Shark Army Octopus. One of my favorites, love that octopus head. Kind of looks like a septopus because it has seven tentacles instead of eight. So it kind of reminds me of Hank from Finding Dory. And you can see he does have that nice oxygen tank piece. No printing on the back. He does have the stud shooter, which is the first time I've seen this piece, you know, used in the CMF line. So there's the stud shooter. And you can see he also has a fish in his hand as well. I'll try to remove his head piece. You can see there the nice print on the face with a nice scar. And you can see the oxygen tank. Just a better look at that print on the torso. Looks really cool, and you do get extra studs as well. So, really like this guy. I think his head part, headpiece looks fantastic. 
Next up, we have our Shark Army Angler. And you can see this is actually a female version. And we do get an exclusive design because we do get one in the Ice Tank set. But it is, uh, has a sand blue head. This one has a sand green head. And you can see the design on her looks fantastic. She has that very spiky mace there. And there's the face underneath. She even has a scar underneath and even some uh, battery print you can see there as well. Whoops. And you can see the printing on the torso there. Nothing on the back, though, for the print on the torso. But it's just pretty interesting. But I keep dropping the, the pieces. Sorry about that, guys. And you do have... Again, that really cool design. Really love that headpiece for the angler. It's so awesome. The next figure we have is the Shark Army Great White. And this guy looks like he had a little bit of a rough day because he went into some lava, it seems. He has some pr no printing on the back of the torso, but he has some arm print on one of his arms and some leg print on the side of his leg as well. And he's also melting a bit too, I think, from the lava. He has a fish in black for the first time, which is really cool, with that flame sticking out. He also has the great white headpiece in this black color, and you can see the battery print is out of juice, and also love the, the, the print as well. Love those that face underneath too. I think it looks really cool. Very menacing too, and I think that also explains in a bit of the trailer as well. Next figure we have is one of my favorites. This is Flashback Garmadon. Basically Garmadon before he had Lloyd. And you can see he does use the older Garmadon torso. But used backwards with some printing. He has a camera in his hand. And also has a printed piece of the volcanic layer. Which is really cool. Love that hair piece as well. Which I think is the first time in tan. I love that sunglass print on him. And I love how the tie extends all the way down. Just a great minifigure overall. The next figure we have up is Volcano Garmadon. And another great minifigure as well. And you can see he's basically in his pajamas. And he does use the same part, like I said, as Flashback Garmadon. He's got some printing on both of his arms, on all four of them. And he also has the new bull piece element with a sand green design and a wave design, which looks really cool. And he also got a cheap way to get his helmet as well. So... I really like the design on that. His face just looks really chipper. I just love that that printing of the volcanoes. It's just really fun. The next figure we have is the Gong and Guitar Rocker. And very cool figure as well, I think, personally. Um, there He has some printing on his arm for the tattoo. No printing on the other arm and no printing on the back of the torso. You can see the nice headpiece there, which is the hippie's headpiece in a somewhat new color. He has some dual-molded legs as well. You can see... Uh, the printing on there and the dual molding. And there's the alternate face as well. And he's the only minifigure with an alternate face. He also has a nice guitar print. Which kind of reminds me of a Les Paul guitar. Which is pretty neat too. The next figure we have is our uh, GPL Tech. She comes with um, the Lego laptop piece. Which has been around for a while. But this is my first one I've owned. So you can see right there is the piece. If you guys haven't seen it. She has a coffee cup in her hand as well and you can see the print also is dual molded no printing on the back for torso but you can see the print on her legs and then her lab coat and what i really love about her is that torso because you can see she's also a batman fan it's really cool they got a batman movie reference in there great minifigure as well next up we have the sushi chef very cool figure too I like how they used the Skywag Pirates headband piece from last year from Series 16. They uh, bring it back again. And he has some great printing on the torso and the back of his torso as well. He has some sushi rolls, one full and one part of it. And he also has those great dual molded legs, which is going to really see some use for sure or elsewhere. I love that shrimp print on the back as, of his torso. And I love that big butcher knife he has as well. Just a great, great figure as well. And finally, last and definitely not least, one of my favorite minifigures. And that is the M-Pop Girl. She reuses Harley Quinn's hairpiece from the Lego Batman movie in a pink and blue color. Kind of looks like a cotton candy color. And I love that face print of hers. She has a nice pink teddy bear as you can see as well. She has a nice torso print which has Unikitty from the Lego movie on there. 
multicolored tutu. There's some back print on her you can just see. And she has different colors for her legs, which are dual molded as well and have some great printing all around. Yeah, this is very anime inspired, this one, and I love it about that. That's why she's one of my favorite minifigures, and a lot of other people love this minifigure like myself. So, yeah, that is the collectible minifigures for the Lego Ninjago movie. Overall, I think this is a really good collectible minifigure series. Is it better than the Batman movie? I'm not sure, honestly. Um, the Batman movie, I kind of felt was a little bit better, but this one is still pretty good, even though you do get some... Ones I'm not really too crazy about, like the Loy minifigure, but you do it's a cheap way to get them in that ninja outfit because it is kind of hard to get. I love how you get the angler, a cheap way to get the angler, and it's a female one. I love the octopus guy, I think he looks awesome. The great white looks fantastic. I love the ninja, like Jay and Misako, or actually, though, but you know, Zane, Cole, and Jay in their normal, like civilian outfits. Misako, great way to get her. And I really love the M-Pop Girl, one of my favorites in general. And the GPL Tech and the other two Garmadons, not this one, but the other two are really fantastic as well. So definitely a great series in my book, and I highly recommend it. Even if you're not a Ninjago fan, I still recommend this series. It's such a great series uh, to get in general for Crawford Minifigure fans and Ninjago fans and Ninjago movie fans. It's just a great series for everyone. But I think I like the Batman movie series a little bit better. But this is definitely a close second in quite some time. I mean, we've had the Disney series, which I thought was fantastic, the Simpsons series, the Batman movie series, and this series. I'm just loving it so much. So definitely one I recommend for sure. So let me guys know what you guys think in the comments. Which one's your favorite cartoon minifigure? And uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos because there is more Ninjago movie sets along the way. So thanks for watching.